I'm going to. You killed him. Why did you chase him? Just trying to get a sound. Going to game four. You know, I mean, they should be right on that for them, for us. It's amazing, uh, you know, going four in a row. So, you expect that, you know, nothing easy. I mean, right. they're not going to fight. And it's always hard to win a chase, huh? I think to win the championship. So, you know, they show the toughness, you know, from the beginning of the game. And that's, they set the tone with it. And, uh, you know, that's how the game went, too. Uh, you know, we tried. We tried to win the game, but um, the first quarter was uh, defensively really, really bad for us. Uh, uh, you let the other team win, score for 49 points. You know, it's a lot of momentum. You know, especially on the road, they feel great about themselves. And, uh, you know, it's just tough. Man. 49 points is a lot. It's like uh, normally team scores a half, but you know, and uh, yeah, 86 and a half. It's just a lot of points, and uh, you know. Uh, you gotta be man, really, really careful and lucky, you know, to right. come back and win that game. So, obviously, we were not, we were not uh, smart in the beginning, and we were not lucky throughout the game. So. What happened when y'all hit the floor oh. and you and Shum? Yeah, into nothing. It's just yeah. you know, nothing. It just it was jump ball and, uh, right. and a little trash talk. Nothing else, and we moved on. Any worry at all that they might review that and, and hit you tomorrow? Well. They're going to review everything, you know, they're reviewing the missing stats and uh, they're reviewing right. everything. Um, I don't expect anything, just normal game, game plan, right. you know, we move on. There was a lot of, a lot of hard, hard fouls throughout the, uh, throughout the game uh, because, again, it's a final, so you don't want to give up anything. So I don't expect anything to happen, just, you know, just regular playing. When you were down on the ground, did anybody hit you or did you get any? I don't remember. There was a lot of people around, yeah. so honestly, I don't remember. So you were just wrestling for the ball down on the ground? Yeah, because, I mean, you know, it was loose ball and, uh, mm -hmm. and I was waiting for it to call a... Obviously, I didn't. Mean, I wasn't. Control, nobody was controlling the ball, so it was jump ball. Obviously, mm -hmm. so I just don't want, didn't want to uh, give the ball that uh, easy that way. Just waited until they were ready. You've been, been doing this a long time. I wonder, in terms of just the craziness, the officiating stuff. Everybody thought Draymond was ejected, then he wasn't ejected. I mean, is this the craziest? Yeah, game I mean, for you? It, it was pretty crazy. I mean, but again, uh, you gotta follow the rules. Um, you know, they bench thought that you know it's his second. Uh, we knew it was first, and a lot of misunderstanding. Right. Yeah, it was loud as well, so it was hard to communicate. You know, the guys had to, you know, one guy could hear, and the other guy. I don't know the game. We just play the game, right? Right. Uh, you know, referees give us a ball, we play the game. So, um, and then you gotta make sure everybody's on the same page, obviously. Um, but, um, again, we're not worried about the stuff. I mean, it's kind of, it can't distract us, right? It can't affect our game. And we, uh, I'm more thinking about our game and not game five, you know, totally on my mind, on our mind, you know. We're play, going to play at home, you know, and Oracle is going to be crazy, and you know, it's going to be really loud and you know, we're excited. We're excited going back home. What was your view of what happened over there on the sideline? Just didn't have a fan that caused the ejection, just didn't have that initial. Uh, yeah, when I was walking to the ranch, you know, so somebody was pointing a finger almost on the sideline, almost on the court, and pointing a finger, and, you know, talking trash. And uh, again, uh, you know, I understand the business of this game. I'm totally understand it. I'm, I've been in this league for long enough, and uh, I'm smart enough to understand, you know, what, what those fans mean mean to us, you know, and it means for this game. But same time, you gotta have some kind of respect and don't talk. Respect all the players and don't throw that kind of shit and point the fingers, you know, almost be on the court. You know, you gotta be you gotta be fair. Honestly, you can support your team, you know, you can yell, etc. But it was total disrespectful, you know, and uh, you know, just you know responded and uh, then the security got me. I'm sorry. What they say? What he was saying? They got you off. Don't mind. I'm not in general, about. like I guess, was it a general? Was it personal? Well, obviously, it was. You know, you, you guys could tell his body language and you know, pointing finger at me, looking at me, talking to me. You know, he wasn't telling me that I was having nice, nice game, right? So, <laughs> <laughs> I was a nice guy. <laughs> I was his favorite player, right? <laughs> so, right. Was, so did you? Did you tell him? Did you tell security get rid of him? I didn't tell him anything. I was in time all happened. Security got in, involved in. After me, actually, uh, he started talking to other guys, you know, whole team. So uh, they got his his ass out. Was it? Did he ever make a move towards the court like, in a way that, like, did he ever get 
you know, come close to you guys, or was it you just talk? It? You see it? I couldn't see all where we were all. We're kind of high up there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's quite be as good as Yeah, we're not right there. Yeah. <laughs> they told him we're gonna take care of you. Uh, I know. <laughs> yeah, he was he was standing and very close to the sideline. Okay.